constructed is they got it into the third paragraph because it's a different thought. It's a different thought in 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 the, in the paragraph. And again, it just may be you know connected with the first thought of the paragraph. Going to those who know law in the city hall, you know, going to those who know the law in the government. Now check this out. Money doesn't make the man. It is the free national standards and power that make the man in the nation. Right? The wealth of all national governments, gold, silver, and commerce belong to the citizens alone. And without your national citizenship, check it out. He didn't say without your national name and all, you know, without your national citizenship, right? By name and principles. See that? Without your national citizenship, by name and principles, you have no true wealth. Name and, what? Name and principles, right? Name and principles. You have no true wealth. And I am hereby calling on all true citizens that stand for a national free government and the enforcement of the Constitution to help me in my great missionary work because I need all support from all true American citizens of the United States of America. Help me to save my people who have fallen from the constitutional laws of the government. I am depending on your support to get them back to the constitutional fold again, that they will learn to love instead of hate and will live according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, supporting our free national constitution of the United States of America. Right? This is a powerful article. We have to stop listening to people who are not in the temple. We have to stop listening to people who, just, who truly do not understand the divine warning by the prophet for the nations. You know, the editorial. Right? Who do not understand this, this, this wonderful article right here. Who, who are not, you know, in accord with this article right here. Okay. Now you, you know you, when you really understand this article right here, spend a lot. And, and what we're supposed to be doing, you'll get angry too. A lot of us upset, right? A lot of us upset because you know you got some, you got people in the way. They playing around. Now look what's happening. People, that, you know, even people in Morocco upset with you because you're not reining in these frauds. See. You not listen to the prophetic office, see. And the prophetic office, they just say, "Come, come, 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 come." You know, and you know what? They gonna get tired of telling you come, and they gonna send, you know, they they gonna send for the angels of destruction. They gonna send for the Moorish American police. Moorish American police. MAP. MAP is all through this, de this demonstration. <laughs> it's too bad y'all don't understand it. But well, it's not too bad. If you, you just beat it, you're not going to get it anyway. A loss of pet who are the island is not going to give it to you anyway. See, not going to be allowed to, to look beneath the rocket soil. I told you, I think I you know, told you that a few times. And the prophet goes on to say, I love my people and I desire their unity and mind back to their own free national and divine standard. I desire their unity and mind back to their own free national and divine standard. You understand me? Because day by day, they have been violating the national and constitutional laws of their government by clinging by claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. Right. Claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. Well, they're not only uh, uh, unconstitutional, they don't exist. There are no nations called black, Negro, colored. 
Ethiopia, right? Mocha, sepia, fudge. You understand me? No. Right. Shaitan, Irajin called us black. Oh yeah, get into it. It's in the Quran. It's in the Kitab. Kitab of Allah, the Book of Allah. That's where it come from. That's where racism come from. Come from Iblis, Irajin, who became Shaitan, Irajin. Shaitan Marida, Irajim. Who did the lamin of Shaitan Irajim? Bismillah, fuck by the way. Right? That's where racism come from. Racism didn't come from me. Came from the gen, the gen, a gen, a gen race, you know. Came from Iblis, who became Shaitan Irajim. It's the law. It's real. You know? Proper tell you right here, right here, and this one, this is his, his premier message right here. This is the Prophet Noble Dali's premier message, right? Divine warning by the Prophet for the nations. He tells you right here, they are to claim their own free national name and religion. Okay, second paragraph. Now I'm over here in the the, the fourth paragraph. The Prophet says, "I love my people." And not desire their unity in mind back to their own free national and divine standard. Their own free national and divine standard. Free national and divine. That's nationality and religion. Divine. Divine. We're not a mere divine. It's got a capital D here, divine. It's Islam. Islam is a, it's a station. It is a very high state of mind. You understand? Divine peace is a divine peace of mind is a very high state of mind. You have peace, you understand me? But in your mind. You, you know, your mind is at peace with everything. You understand me? At peace with yourself, at peace with your environment and everything in your environment. You understand know I me? Mean? That peace comes from Allah subhanahu who went to Allah himself, the king of peace. The God of peace, you understand? A Lord of peace, you understand? Allah. You understand me? A Rahman Irahim. Grace and mercy, you understand me? You can't have grace or mercy without peace. <laughs> can't have it grace and mercy operates from the standpoint of salam you know salim you understand salama you understand as salama you know you bow into the peace you acknowledge the peace you're seeking peace as salama you understand me as salama you understand me the very, the very greeting the, the very uh, formal Islamic greeting you're, you're, you're submitting to peace you understand know I me? Mean? When you see your brother or sister, when you greet them, you understand know I me? Mean? You, you're submitting, you understand know I me? Mean? You're, you're earnest, that's right. When you submit, you're earnest, you're earnestly uh, entreating about peace. You know, as salama, as salamu alinkum, right? Wa rahma to lahi. You understand me? And the grace of Allah. That's a wonder, you know, the formal greeting of Islam. Get into it. Learn it. Say it. Think about it. You understand me? You, you, you're bound to your brother's sister. You understand me? In humility. You, you're humbling yourself, your brother's sister. I salama. You know, I salamu alinkum. You understand me? I salama. I salama. That means, you understand know me? Peace. Peace be unto you. There's a humility. You know, that's a, that's a, a, hum, a, a humble entre entreaty. You understand me? I salam it. You know, you get into it. This is a wonderful, you understand me? Free national and divine standing. You understand me? I love my, my people and not desire their unity and mine back to their own free national and divine standard. 
because day by day they have been violating the national and constitutional laws of their government by claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. If Italians, Greeks, English, Chinese, Japanese, Turks, and Arabians are forced to proclaim their free national names and religion before the constitutional government of the United States of America, it is no more than right that the law should be enforced upon all other American citizens alike. See, it's deep. You got people here that don't regard you as American citizen. Why? See, gotta get into that. Why? Gotta question everything proper say. Yeah. Like, don't listen to that. That's that Christian doctrine we, we ain't supposed to question God. We ain't supposed to question the prophet. You understand me? The prophet questioned us 101 times. <laughs> don't he? He questioned us 101 times and he gives the answer as well. But we're supposed to extend those answers, you understand? We're supposed to add supplets to those answers. You know. Does truth change? No. Truth does not change or pass away. A. Because. B. Also. C. And. Or. You understand me? We're supposed to answer those questions with sublets. That's when we know we're cooking with gas. That's when we know we're learning. You understand me? Where we can add, where we can extend the learning of the prophet that would draw the Alehi Wasallam. Where we can show the prophet Alehi Wasallam, you know, no would draw the Alehi Wasallam and the loss of Fatahu at the Allah that we are learning by extending the learning, by propagating and extending the learning. Oops, sorry. A little excited here. Okay. Get a little excited here. I'm getting, I'm getting excited about this thing. I mean, because I see it. <laughs> Understand. Understand it. It's wonderful. Woo! It's wonderful. Okay. I talked to you guys about your Moore's brother and sister, about a brother I met from Chicago some years back, about 10, 11 or so years, 10 or so years ago, named Imam Jafar. And I, I still have a, a, a cookbook of his on, 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 on cassette tape in here somewhere. But he talks about Islam was a very high state. So he said, Islam is a very high state. It's a very high station. Da, 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 da. I, I haven't listened to it in a while, but I, you know, some things in that could bar are so, so, so powerful. These are know, orthodox, orthodox Sunni brothers. You know, I got a certain order up here. They wear turbans, but they got a red cone, and they wear, they wear, uh, uh, they wear turbans, but they wear, they got this, it's wrapped around a, like a, a, either a red or a green cone up there in Chicago. Named Imam Jafar, and. Uh, but he said that Islam was a very high station, a very high state, a very high station. Okay, it's a high state of mind. Al Islam is a high state of mind. And I'm tell you something right now. You know these, these people—they got uh, uh, in, in certain wings of the White House, they got portraits of Moors, just of Muslims, in the White House, and they talk talking trash about Islam. You know, we all know well uh, 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 the. Uh, the Christians, you know, the Christian Zionists is in, is in the White House now. You know, the Christians, they might have removed, uh, you know, more portraits. You know, there were in certain wings of the White House. They may have took it, taken them down, put them in the, you know. But uh, it's a Muslim government that, uh, uh, that first recognized the United, uh, United States. The first, the first Asiatic government to recognize the United States was a Muslim government. Right. To recognize the United States, you know. And I'm gonna tell you something right now. These, these folks know it. They, they, they just like we know, you know, us Moors. We know. We have a bona fide global record of building civilizations, top flight, high quality civilizations around the world. All right? They know that. But, you know, they slave to sin. They want to drink, they want to gamble, they want to smoke, they want to fornicate. You know, they want to go to bed with their neighbor's wife. 
and his children these days. You know, they want to go, want to go to bed with the same sex. You know, they just don't want to. They just, they just want to be unbridled. You understand? In the carnal satisfaction of the carnal appetites. See, and you know, Islam is not going to allow it because Allah subhanahu who went to Allah says no. And Allah subhanahu who went to Allah is the father of the universe, the father of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. You understand me? He is the father of all knowledge. You understand? He is the father of all knowledge. And he knows best. He said we shouldn't do those things. We mustn't do those things if, you know, if we want to live. You know, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be lengthened upon the earth land which the Lord, thy God, Allah, hath given thee. You understand me? Supreme words of God. You understand me? Spoken through the prophet, no would draw a lady who has said, Scoot his ideas. Right? And this is part one, you know, of my uh, uh, reading and commentary on uh, the editorial divide wanted by the prophet for the nations. Page begins on page 58 of the Blessed Resurrection book. You know, the resurrection. More Science Temple of America. The truth. Be yourself and not somebody else. If I draw it, you're cut. Okay. New World Time now. Defend her. But she'll defend herself. Right. Salvation. New World Time now. Humanity. Land resting on the rock. You know, she's sleeping. You know, she's not sleeping. She's resting. She got her eyes closed. You understand me? She's taking a rest. She got on a new turban. You understand know me? New dress, new shoes. You understand know me? She's clean. She just came out of the muck and mire. You understand know me? By the breath of a loss of pen and what the ally in the fresh, in the flesh, you know? So she's, you know, she's been through some stuff. So she's taking a rest. But she got a sword by her side, though. Talking now. She's got to understand the cover of that blessed resurrection book. She got a sword by her side, though. A lot of women say, Well, she's laying there, there with her eyes closed. Well, she did. They're not really looking at it. Brought her to the rock. You understand me? Gave her a new turban and everything. She's clean. She's got on new shoes. Now she's, you know, she's, she's taking a rest. And he's protecting her. He get ready to draw a sword. He said, Yep, yeah, touch it. Mess with her. She it's coming out. You understand me? He said, if I draw you cut. And you know, and other leaders gonna say, if I draw you dead. You understand? This is third and fourth generation law. Thing ain't nothing to play with. Y'all keep on playing around. And the same thing I tell you, y'all gonna see this on the big screen, you understand know I me, mean? on Dead Judgment. It, did, did, did my servant try to did my servant try to tell y'all? My servant tried to tell y'all I wouldn't listen to him. No, don't get all spooked out and everything, you know what I mean? I'm you know, I'm a human being. You know, I just I'm just I just know my lessons. Okay, I know my lesson. You can learn them too. Open your heart, clean your heart up. You understand me? Talk to God, pray to God, make do I. You understand me? As you make prayer, it, tell God what's going on with you. Tell him what you need. Took cigarettes from me. I prayed to a lost of pen and I to take cigarettes from me, yeah, because I stopped everything else but couldn't stop smoking. And that smoking will lead you back to other stuff. Carnal customs and me ideas, man. Probably talks about that, in, you know, the article that, you know, that I'm going to cover in part two right but I want y'all to see the east side cover of this book right here right it's the east side cover of the book you understand I'm gonna read the east side cover of the book east side cover of the book Power demonstration 
too bad y'all listen to these people who reject the resurrection. They curse. You think, I'm, you think I'm just talking off the top of my head when I say that? They all curse. Anytime you disobey God, you curse. Anytime you disobey the prophet, you curse yourself. The prophet was sent here, you know, with a message from God, Allah. 